What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And TRX prices are crashing. And very significantly so. I didn't expect to see anything with a Hellcat motor crash like an EV. And I'm talking Tesla prices. But it just happened. Before we get into today's videos, guys, i got to talk about the sponsors here at the channel, and that's Morgan & Morgan, Attorneys at Law. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney, you're not going to find any firm larger on planet Earth than Morgan & Morgan. You know, they handled over 20 million phone calls in 2023 alone. I mean, that's huge. And that's why they put on the billboard size matters, because when you're going up against massive insurance companies, you want somebody that can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And they uh, they actually can. You can get started in eight clicks or less by going to forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. Again, that's forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. And I appreciate them for allowing me to do what I do. So just a quick aside. Um, I was at Mannheim. And two TRXs came through. Both under, I think one was at 11,000 miles, so I can't say under 10,000. Let's say under, both under 12,000 miles, right? Um, one was a 2023, the other one was a 2022. Um, extremely well optioned. Both of them had the panoramic sunroofs. One had the technology package, um, whatever that means. I mean, both of them had the full uh, big screens. Uh, both of them were green lights at auction. Uh, Auto Nation ended up picking one up here for 57000 I believe, is what the lowest one went for. Um, and that's insane because uh, I just I was just watching a video over at OC Motivator's channel, which you guys can go check him out as well. I'll put a link to his channel down below. I know he's approaching 75,000 subscribers, and I think you guys can get him there. But um, I, I happened to just come across and see that the prices on these trucks are falling. And I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it for myself. So these dealers are now picking these up sub $60,000 wholesale. Extremely low miles. Now they're going to retail them probably for... AutoDation will probably retail it for eighty nine nine and see if someone's dumb enough to buy it. Uh, they'll probably end up selling it if it doesn't sell in the first 30 days for 85 or 80 or is as the market and the banking system is rapidly changing on auto loans they could just try to flip it real quick and make some money and get out from under it but uh i thought it was interesting and i know there's a lot of people in the hellcat community or you know people like uh my dude butter the insider that's a big trx fan and there's a whole forum behind that that uh you know they i just published a video probably the same day you're seeing this about the banks um you know wells fargo specifically saying that 92 percent of dodge owners with these last calls are 20 15 to twenty thousand dollars upside down on nine that's 90 something percent of the loans that they hold wow that's a problem and the fact that they're only gonna write uh future notes on vehicles at 88 percent of msrp these dealers are going to have to get uh, closer to their invoice and start moving cars. And I think you're going to see a drastic drop in TRXs in the retail market because two things happen. They're either going to send them to auction and hope they can get out from under them for whatever they have them on their floor plan for, right? Or, you know, the bigger corporation dealers might be able to withstand the beating from the floor plan uh you know longer than the privately held mom and pop uh dealers but needless to say either way you're going to see these trucks drop in price like a rock over the next 60 days uh, just from what i'm seeing in the wholesale market and to give you context the trx went through three weeks ago that had eight thousand more miles and clearly wasn't in the condition that the two that went through today and that went for almost 70 grand right now it also depends on who's there bidding 
Every major auto group was at Mannheim bidding here in Las Vegas uh, when I was there. Because they're trying to get some of these uh, deals. And the other thing, all the little mom and pops, the people that are trying to spend money to buy some of these cars to have an opportunity to make a nice chunk of change, they're not bidding. They see the market changing. They do not want to get stuck with, you know, a, a $60,000 hit on their floor plan for a vehicle that they may not be able to sell for 200 days. So, I found that to be exceptionally uh, interesting. Uh, and if you found it interesting, give the video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I wanted to publish this bonus video for you guys on the TRX because I thought it was very interesting to see the disaster that is unfolding on pretty much every Stellantis vehicle right now. It's not looking good. See you guys on the next one.